I just wanted to give you an update on the room since I'm, I ended up moving a bunch of stuff out of the living room and bringing, moving it back into here because it's easier to control the humidity in one room than the living room it was getting all foggy. Anyways, uh, this is my computer setup. It's my, my Asus laptop. It's got some uh, slight modifications done to it. I have taken it apart and made some new uh, heat blocks and stuff out of some copper that I had and had it welded to the existing heat pipes to make to make it cool better because I was getting like temps of like 78 degrees when it was on idle. I actually stripped it all down and redid the thermal compound with uh, Arctic Silver which bring my temps down now uh, whenever it's idling when it's actually kind of hot in here it stays around uh, 58 or 60 degrees <clears throat> anyways uh, because of that now I actually I'm actually using my 46 inch TV as my computer monitor uh, which and I'm running it in t uh, 1080p and it, I'm getting real good frame rates. I'm running at 60 hertz. I'm getting uh, good frame rates in games. So, you know, it's amazing because this, this thing right here is from oh, 2009. <laughs> Anyways, there's my, my speakers, my wallet, my keys. But there's my iguanas cage. My iguana Izzy. Open this. I actually had to. Hack this part of this. This is actually a countertop uh, that somebody was going to throw away and ended up uh, turning it into a computer desk. Yeah. I had to hack this up that way it could open her tank door. Anyways, this is her tank. There's a newspaper on the bottom. She, she is very uh, potty trained and I had a litter box in here, but she kept eating the dirt that was in the little uh, tub. So I took it out because uh, I don't need her eating dirt. So I put newspaper in there and you know, I just fold it up and throw it away after a uh, week. I've been changing it weekly. Anyways, that's uh, some tree branches that she got in there. That's her. Hi, is this? She's pretty big. You see that? The boards that go across are like four and a half feet. Uh, hey baby, hey baby, what are you doing? She really doesn't like my phone. Sweetheart. Yeah, she's eating. Anyways, that's my iguana Izzy. Shut this door. Now, I don't know if you watch my other videos, but I made this tank. my cousin did it was only like 70 80 bucks to build this sucker and I had this plexiglass laying around because I was gonna uh, build some big enclosures for the snakes but then I ended up just buying enclosures but what I did was I put this plexiglass here so when she's out and running around in my room she doesn't climb up the side of the tank because she was getting up here and I don't want her getting burnt sitting up there by her heat lamps anyways then uh this guy chilling up here Let's see if you don't try try to bite me this guy chilling right here that's my carpet python his name's Ka he is currently I think a year old he's a year old he's about five foot long uh, he had a little span where he wasn't eating. I don't know what was causing it, but now he's he's pretty he's pretty hungry all the time now. Anyways, that's that's his setup right there. Then you come down underneath here. This guy right here is my uh, milk snake. His name is uh, Henry. He's my Pueblo milk snake. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing, dude? He's trying to get under the the water dish. 
He was actually given to me by a friend. I got him set up where he can hide. <laughs> He's really old. He's probably like 13, 14 years old. Uh, and down here in this tank, uh, this is Violet. She's my Honduran, my anatheristic Honduran real quick. And she's in shed, so she's she's been hiding her, her hide here. It's Violet. Her name's Violet. Let me move my guitar real quick. And then down here at the bottom. This is my Mexican Black King Snake. I got him from BHB on the internet. This is him. That's him. His name is. See if he bites me. <laughs> That's him. And he's about. Seven months old or something, seven or eight months old, and he he's just not an eater, so he hasn't gotten very big. I got him for BHB. He was only like fifty bucks. He's kind of a pain in my butt because he doesn't have an appetite like I want him to. Actually, he's the only one that I don't feed in the cage because he won't eat if I have him in the cage. Then up here on top, this is my. The sweetest snake that I own. This is Ruby. She's my albino ball python. She's just chilling. What are you doing, baby girl? What are you doing? This snake right here, she's a sweetheart. Come on, baby girl. Right down here. And down here, poking out looking for food. That's Popeye. He wasn't much of an eater when I got him either. He's my pied ball python. He is actually I'm gonna end up breeding him with with her. Let's see if we get some babies. And there's my my garrison LS1. The only I, this is the only guitar like it in the world. I don't know if you can see the Avalon and stuff on it. And then I got my a C1FR Schecter Hellraiser. And then I have, I have a really nice spear base, but it's getting fixed. And I have a, I have a Schecter Avenger, but it's a, it's in the case. It was just a quick update video on the room.